Hi guys, today I'd like to show you how to create a Lightship mission using the Lightship mission hub and Google Earth on your computer. The first thing we need to do is open up our web browser. Then go to the Lightship site. Now you're going to need an account in Lightship, so create yourself an account, then go to the mission hub and log in. Lightship will now take you to your current location. In the search window, type the location where you're going to run your mission. Mine will be Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide comes up in the search window. I click on that and it takes me to the Port Adelaide area. I now zoom in closer to the place where I will run the mission, which will be in this harbour here. So now I will drop my first waypoint, which will be on this small beach here. The waypoint window comes up. And I'm going to set the first altitude at 20 meters. And I'll click the above ground. Then I'll bring another waypoint over here. Another one here. And then... I will come in front of these vessels all at 20 meters, turn around, and at this point I'm going to increase the altitude to 30, then 40, and close to home make it 10. So the mission is complete there. I close the waypoint window. I click on missions. Save. Save the file. Give it a name. Port test uh, 60 loot. And save it. Now if you'd like to view this file in Google Earth, Click on Missions and Export as a KML 3D Path. The file is downloaded. Once we've done that, we open it. Google Earth will open. And there's the mission that we've just created. Now we can have a, a close look at this to make sure that we're not interfering with any power lines or anything like that or people. So we're starting the mission on this little beach. We're coming around at 20 meters, coming around in front of the vessels, and then increasing from 30 to 40, and then back down to 10. So we're now ready to go to the next stage, which is to open this on our iPad and do the settings. Okay, we've arrived here at the mission location at Port Adelaide. Now we have to load the mission into the iPad and the aircraft and do the necessary settings in the Lychee app. Now let's open the Lychee app and then load the mission. Select the mission we created, which was port test 60, and open that. First, let's set the mission heading. Heading defines the heading of the aircraft during the mission Choose Auto where the aircraft will point towards the next waypoint, i.e. point forward along the route. Initial, where the aircraft will maintain the heading it had when it took off. And Manual, where you are able to control the heading of the aircraft during the mission using the left joystick, left right, mode 2. Or Custom, where the aircraft will use the heading you have defined for each waypoint. Using Custom also means that the aircraft will smoothly transition from one waypoint heading to the next. Let's change from custom to manual so that we can have left and right hand control. Finish action. Choose an action that the aircraft will perform upon arrival at the last waypoint. Available choices are non, RTH, return to home, land, back to one, back to the first waypoint and reverse fly back along the same route. We are going to select none, set the cruise speed to 15 kilometers per hour, 
set the maximum speed to 45 kilometers per hour and disable gimbal pitch mode. So now I'm going to start the drone. Zero meters altitude. Drone started. 97% battery. I'm going to take the drone in the air. Keep it there, press play, start the mission. Zero meters out okay, the drone will go. 97% battery. Okay, the drone has taken off and is now flying towards waypoint one, where it will really start the mission from that point. drone's found waypoint one and is now flying the mission autonomously. As we're moving along this bridge I'm using the left stick to move the drone to the left to keep the shot in frame. I'm now moving the gimbal down just to frame the shot better. Which is great as the drone is flying autonomously you can uh, then just use your left stick and your gimbal to uh, keep things in frame. Now turning to the right with the left joystick. Really the speed is set on this mission at 15 kilometers per hour. So all I'm using is the left stick and the gimbal. For demonstration purposes, I'm now going to rotate the drone to the right so that we are looking to the rear of the drone, giving us a rear view as we fly backwards with the drone. I'm still flying autonomously, but we're now getting a rear view. Now I'm going to pause the mission by pressing the button on the side of the Phantom controller and on the Mavic it's on the lychee screen. I pause, I turn the drone around, reframe the next shot and then repress the pause again to restart the mission. Very handy feature. Also move forward and back as well when you paused with the uh, right stick. Now turning the drone to the right to look back at the home position. The home position is now in front and we're heading straight for it. Well I think you'll all agree that the Lychee Mission Hub, the Lychee app, Google Earth are fantastic tools for autonomously flying your drone to get these beautiful cinematic curves that we're looking for, to do forward reveals, backward reveals, it's a fantastic tool to have for your drone. Bring the gimbal down. The drone's coming down to 10 meters now. There's my car. Mission ended. 9 meters altitude. 82% battery. The mission ends and I fly the drone manually over to the car. <laughs>